Hello friends, today I will be sharing with you the journey of this boy Chul Bot Chan, a journey that started nearly 10 years ago, a journey that involved a travel of thousands of miles, a journey from near death to a life full of potential. Chulboth is a five-year-old boy from Cambodia, although he looks like a two-year-old boy. He came to us on 25th December 2012. At that time, the father had been told that he's got some kidney disease. Uh, his problem started when he was just one year old and he had stopped growing at that point of time. And I remember when he walked into my clinic on 25th December, he was carrying him in his arms. He was very weak, very thin, vomiting. In fact, he vomited in the clinic and uh, very frail looking. So we investigated him and we found that he had advanced chronic kidney disease. This kidney disease was there from birth because of uh, what we call dysplastic kidneys. The kidneys were very weak from birth. Our investigations confirmed our worst fears that he indeed had stage 5 chronic kidney disease. We counseled the father about it. He wanted a kidney transplant at that point of time which we ruled out because the child's body was simply too weak to take a kidney transplant. I asked many people in Cambodia and we find that some people had come to India to Fortis and they do transplant and heard that they are very good after that. And the next step we put him on peritoneal dialysis. Once we were sure that you know his body was strong enough, we told the father that this is the right time. One of his father's cousins flown in from Cambodia and we found that he was indeed compatible with this young baby and at that point of time we said okay now we are okay to go ahead with the kidney transplant. But there were some hiccups. His weight was just 10 kgs. Now transplanting children around 10 kgs is very challenging. Since they were not causing any harm, we didn't touch those kidneys because uh, removing these kidneys itself is a big surgery. So what we do is, we took out the kidney from his donor and we placed it here in the pelvic cavity and the tube or the ureter was joined to the bladder. And similarly the blood vessels were joined with the mm, blood vessels of this baby and that's how he started producing urine. Post-surgery, we were happy. We saw the urine trickling down into the drain uh, attached and we were very happy. Everybody was thrilled that the first step was in the right direction. With appropriate management, uh, we were finally able to discharge this boy on 10th day after surgery. After transplant, his uh, toxic level keeps very low at, in standard range. And also after that, his uh, blood is very good and everything is very good. I, he, he asked for more things to eat. We are still keeping track from from him from his toxic level. I think that uh, everything is really show a good signs. Over a period of time the acceptance of the body to the new kidney improves so you can reduce the doses of the drugs. The child also gets much more stronger and he gains strength from time to time and he can resume his normal uh, school life and activity. 